love it. I love your earring. That is the cutest thing. Look how small that is. Is it a matching set? <laughs> no. Huh? This is actually a flash drive, but this is not the reason why we're here today. That's a flash drive? That's an eight gigabyte flash drive. Look how tiny that is. I'd lose that thing in a so, minute. Why are we here today? That's why you don't have it. So I, I, I want to show you about most people at home have got a, a, something called a router. I have one. And it allows you to have an internet connection and share it between multiple devices, whether you plug it in or, you know, wireless. Like a laptop down in right. the family room. Right. Got and it. That, right. that laptop connects to your internet service wirelessly through a wireless router. Mysteriously, so, yes. This is a new one that came out from a company called Netgear. They make some pretty decent products. All right. And I thought I would show it to you, not because it's a router and it's a, a sexy looking router. It's got lots of blinking lights on it. It doesn't have any little uh, antennas. It. No, it's got it built in. But this is a dual band router. It operates on 2.4 gigahertz frequency and 5 gigahertz frequency. Wow. Okay, so the reason why 2.4 gigahertz spectrum is kind of crappy right now because there's a lot oh, yeah. of cordless phones on there. Mm -hmm. So man router manufacturers started putting 5 gigahertz routers out there. Smart move. Not only does the 5 gigahertz help with that reception from, you know, real cheap cordless cell phones. Uh, but it also extends the range. This is an N-type router, so you know mm -hmm. you get B and G. This is an N, but that's not the reason why I want to show you. It's not. Absolutely not. These are. The, I actually tried it. So it works pretty good. Unless you play Battlefield Bad Company on the PlayStation Three, won't work. <sighs> Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. The manufacturers are aware of the issue. They're coming out with a firmware upgrade for it to upgrade the code. Mm -hmm. But for right now, it's kind of hit and miss. So okay. you could go to your neighbor's house with your laptop and see what you're trying to tell me on, s and, and this will pick it up. No? Oh, yeah. That's, that's pretty. The range of this thing is incredible. Oh, but that's that's like really that. not the reason why I want to show you this. That's not the reason. No. He's going to come to the reason, I promise you, so eventually. one of the things is on, right. on the back of a wired router or a, a wireless router, there's normally these ports on the back. Yeah, I've seen And these are to plug PlayStation in, computer, desktop, that kind of stuff. It's TV, if you've got any, you know, t it, Ethernet, uh, internet capable TV. Yeah. And most of those ports on 90% on of the routers out there work on 10 slash 100, which is 10 slash 100 megabits a second. Okay? That's pretty fast, isn't it? Mm, it's okay. That's okay. These have actually got gigabit ports on the back. Wow, that's so 10 it's times a as thousand, thousand. Okay. times as fast. So it's kind of like having a hose pipe that, you know, was 100, inch, uh, 100 centimeters across and it's now gone to 1,000. That's a lot. Allows you to dump more stuff through there. That's and, the, and the reason why that's useful is because at home, I've got a media server that stores all my pictures, videos, music, all of my stuff. Right. And I can access that from anywhere on my network. I can access it on the road from a web browser. Mm -hmm. But transferring files from my laptop to my media server takes a while. Yeah, it's a lot of information to go right. through there. If I'm sure. trans I, yeah. I transferred a, a 1.9 gig file on my old router. It took nine minutes. I put this one in and because it's got the, you know, the, the better stuff on there. Yeah. It took four minutes. That's almost <laughs> half as less. But that's still not what I want to tell about. No. If you look at the back of this thing, you'll actually see a USB port. Yeah, I saw that. And this is kind of neat because what it I allows did. you to do is it allows you to put in a USB flash drive or a USB hard drive. In there. In here. And None of the uh, regular wired don't have that. Mine doesn't have that. Right. Right. And that's what I want to show you about. Wow. So you can store music, pictures, videos, whatever you want on this thing. And pick it up anywhere in the house. And access it from your network. And, and here's the <laughs> wait, best part. Wait, there's, there's more. more. <laughs> and if you're the 10th caller, uh, I'm sorry. So right. not, only does, not only can you access all this stuff on your flash drive or USB hard drive from your own network, but you can access it from a web browser. So just uh, basically anywhere then. Right, right. On so, somebody else's computer. Yeah. How about that? Now, it's, it's a real, my media server does that also, mm -hmm. but I can give... I can assign users to that thing and give them uh, assign shares. So I can give Deet read his own folder and give him only access to Deet's files. Okay. And that's with uh, a password or something. Right. And I can give Rodney the same thing. But if I want uh, Rodney to have access to my music as well, I can also give him those permissions. You know, it's based on user. It's based on what I want to set as. Mm -hmm. Don't let this, him get near any of your money or personal accounts. No, 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 no. <laughs> I've seen it. So this one kind of works the same way, but it's all or nothing. So there's uh, no permissions to set. It's kind of like whoever you give access to, they've got access to it on, it on that device. But let's turn to my laptop real quick. I don't know whether Rodney can pick this up. Sure he can. He can do anything, can't you? Uh, but I am I'm wirelessly connected to this router, mm -hmm. okay? And I have this 8 gig flash drive in the back, and we put some wonderful music on there. So I'm going to go to 
Do you have onions? Backslash, backslash. Back back yes. <laughs> well, yeah, must have been a good sandwich. Backslash, backslash. <laughs> Ready share. And it shows USB storage. That's the actual file. Okay. That's the actual drive. Shows there. you the file. And if I go here, show some songs. So you put songs on here? I did. Must have been a great band. I wouldn't these, say it's a great These band. guys are this, good. Is, this, is, this is actually Deep Reed's band, but... Uh, yes, and it's raw, folks. We weren't in the studio. We were... Uh, it's it's got to be, you know, cleaned up a little bit, like burnt. An auto-tuned. <laughs> this is the final product. This, no, it's not the final product. <laughs> but I just yeah. wanted to put some files on there to show you that, you know, you can be in your network, and we're not connected to that thing in any way, shape, or form. Let's pull power out. Got it. Okay. Now, you, you actually have music from here. Yeah, you can be in a hotel room in, in Tahiti and say, oh, I want to listen to Crawford, Reed, Burton, and Ball, and you can go to the web, as long as you've got access to the internet right. outside of your home, you can actually connect to that thing and play whatever's on there. Now this has to be in the back of your router at home. Though. Right. Okay. Can you transfer this stuff to a file and listen to it through the network that way? Yeah. I, see, when I went to... Because that's obviously on a file here, right? I mean... No, no, no. This... Okay, so... No, that's right. This is actually coming from here. So, <clears throat> when I went to backslash backslash ready share, it's saying, show me all the files on the USB storage device it. on this device. Okay. Okay. So from wow. there, I can drill down and see everything that's within there. So if there was pictures on here, I would see those too. And so, that's pretty much. So if you knew you were going somewhere and you would need to access this thing and you want to do it from Tahiti or wherever. Well, well, think of this. Let's say you take a, a bunch of pictures of your children. Mm -hmm. I know you don't have any. Oh, I probably do. <laughs> okay. But let's say you've got a picture. <laughs> let, let, let's say you, you take a picture of like the holiday season, mm -hmm. Christmas, that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. and you want your friends and family to be able to see them. Okay. Most of the time you would either have to send them a CD or you yep. would have to email them, but then you can only send so much through email. That's right. Or you could build Big a website, files. but not everybody knows how to build a website. Perfect. They can access right. this and see anything. Small flash drive in the back, put all your pictures on there and give them all the address. Folks, i got to tell you, David never ceases to amaze me on IOTV. What do you think, Rodney? Great. No more onions. <laughs> no more onions for lunch for Rodney. All right, we're coming back with some more stuff on I.O. This is a great band. Can, I get this Can you bring it up a little bit? No, is no. that me singing there? <laughs>